In our previous lesson, we looked at an HTML file, the structure of it with its header, its body, and all of that. And I'd like to build on that lesson. This is the third lesson in that series. I hope that you'll find it interesting. This is a lesson directed at the Coding Club at Brian Evan Primary School. In the last lesson, we worked with HTML purple mash game that was being fed into an HTML file and we put that into an HTML document and we said that the HTML document had these tags and here the HTML that's telling us we're working with hypertext markup language and here's the ending tag and here's the header and we know that the title fits inside the header so you can see that this one that says ayan is not right we're going to be making a video file so i'm going to change this as my video example we're going to be giving an example of a video and i'm going to move this it has to be in the header so you can see it's in the wrong place so i'm going to cut and i'm going to put that's the ending tag would be a forward slash there go to the next line just going to paste it in so you can see within the header we have the title the video example the title is found within the header i'm just going to delete this because we've got two of them so there's a few mistakes on this page we start that's the start of the body and the end of the body so the body section would be here produce a video I'm going to go through the procedure of how to place a video in your HTML file now before we place the video I'm going to go file we want to make it an HTM hypertext markup language file which means that a browser for instance Safari Chrome all of those Internet Explorer would be able to read an HTML file so I'll go save as you can see it's already got a name here we can change it we'll call it my video example and then we're going to put dot h t m it's an h t m and the browser you can see here it's chrome it should take on that icon so i'm going to go save and it should be saved in my desktop if i'm correct so we'll have a look at the desktop go to the desktop and it says my video example if I click on that over here you can see the video example right click and we can look at our view page source we can look at the HTML I'm holding down control and turning the wheel of my mouse there is the tab so you could call a title that would come up over there HTML and you've got the body section which is going to hold our video go back to close this i'm going to open up notepad and we're going to type in video and we're going to put it in tags so we're going to do video and then we're going to do an ending tag video forward slash video and we're going to put all of our code inside this part over here within the video part this start part i'm going to put some attributes so i'm going to go with width equals and watch how i do that with quotes 640 and then i'm going to go with height equals and we'll make this one 480 close the quotes and that's telling us the width and the height the size of the video now I do want to make the video have controls so I'm going to type in controls and then I've written in controls I would like a picture to be shown where the video is now you need to watch very carefully because I'm going to show you a wonderful little shortcut way of finding pictures so you can I'm going to find a picture in my 
folder over here. I'm going to take the location of this picture by holding down shift and right clicking on the picture. So hold down shift, right click, and this is really important. So you need to pay very good attention. Copy as path. That's the important one. Copy as path. I left click and it's taken that path. So if I open it, I can paste that here and you can see it's pasted that picture over there. So I have a video which is given the size, the width and the height of the video. I've got controls and you all know that the controls would be play controls, pause, stop, whatever. And we also have a picture that is also part of the video. Now I need to tell what type of video this is. So I'm going to type in something more, but I'm going to just give it a bit of space. And then I'm going to just make everything a little smaller. Take the font down to 18. So I was hoping that that would fall in there. Let's just take word wrap off. And over here, I'm going to set the source of the video. So here we go source. And now we're going to show the location of this file. So we're going to put SRC, meaning where this file is kept. Where is the video that we'd like to play over here? And I'm going to choose a video that is going to be found on my computer. You could use any video and you've got a whole lot of different videos over here. Here's the last video that we used in our tutorial. It's called HTML Tutorial 2. So we'll hold down shift. Remember what I showed you earlier, that very important bit of information. Hold down shift. It's one of the most wonderful things I've learned. Right click, go down and copy as path. That's going to have the path of that file. Paste, right click, paste. And that's the file. You can see my files are MP4 and it's found at this location. It's found in the videos folder. You can see here's the videos folder and the name of the file. And as we did our HTM, MP4 would be talking about the type of file that's going to be used we're going to indicate what type of file this is. And if you look very carefully, it says MP4. There's lots of different types of files. I'm going to type video forward slash MP4. And I'm going to close the quotes and close that. So there's the beginning of the source. That's the source. Now I need to bring in a, an ending. Now in between these tags, now in between these tags, one would normally write if the file is not readable, the video tags do not read, and they usually would be read in most browsers, but you do find the odd occasion when when they don't understand what video is, those tags mean. And then you would write this video is not being read or something like that. You would indicate that your browser does not understand the name of the video. So we're going to try to save this. I'm going to save. We, we open up the video example, reload this page, and straight away you can see the size of that. And you can see already we've got the play button. There's the sound button. And we can even maximize. And I haven't really looked at what these are. If you play Good afternoon, it. boys and girls. I'm going to just go over some of the stuff. Can you see? We've put a video inside our HTML file. How wonderful is that? We could put a heading above it. So let's do that just to end off. So we know that the body section, we're going to put a header in the body section. So I'm going to put it H2. And I'm going to put a forward slash H2. And in this, I'm going to write my second HTML video for Computer Club. Let's see how that looks. File, save, open the file, and we're going to reload this page. And it's my second HTML video is a heading, and we now have a heading to our video. 
and we can now play it. Good afternoon, boys and girls. And if we wanted to see the HTML, HTML behind this, this web page, we go right click and view page source, and there you have it all. We have placed a video into the file. So this is an example that does use the video that is placed on your machine. So you're going to have to test this and show me that you can produce a HTML file that's got a video in it. And in our forthcoming lesson, we'll look at a video that is being fed from the Internet. Thank you. I'd like to just urge you to subscribe to our videos. We're trying to build up our subscriptions. If you're a learner, please do watch the videos and try to get the most out of them. I do think that they will help you to understand coding a lot better and it will help you to be more analytical and more of a systems thinker. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you all the best.